Yeah, we have just previously seen very, very interesting videos of which Moda has just changed my life. And I don't know how someone can just anachagua nyoka kama. Hey, matunda, I am still traumatized, guys. <laughs> It's, it's still making me feel some type of way. But anyway, we have moved on swiftly and now we are where we're supposed to be. That is the strength of a woman right about now. It's by it's at White Five on Facebook, White Five on Channel on Twitter, hashtag is White the Morning. Today we're talking about polygamy and polyandry. And my, I'm just going to have fun, guys. I am going to enjoy this enjoyment. But a couple of times ago, what's your guest? We're allergic to Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is... Omina mm -hmm. Forley, mm -hmm. PSA. Mm, you're sweet, sweet. <laughs> Nakwanga hivi all the time, mama ni juku kwa TV. Nakwanga hivi. Karibu sana kapwa. Tell us about yourself. Okay. I've already introduced my name. Mm -hmm. So, I work with Angaza Youth Initiative. Mm -hmm. That is in Kilifi. Mm -hmm. I also work with the team Nema Foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is based in Nairobi, but it is um, a CBO that this one it focuses mainly on kids, uh, both gender. Mm -hmm. uh, it is all about giving back to, to the society. Mm -hmm. But now Angaza, mm -hmm. Angaza Youth Initiative, this one uh, it is based in Kilifi South. Mm -hmm. And then um, it mainly focuses on the um, young adolescent girls mm -hmm. and young women. Mm -hmm. So it goes there, maybe it goes to the interior parts of Kilifi, and then it does the empowerment. It also uh, focuses on sexual reproductive health mm -hmm. and rights. Okay. Yeah. To answer your young girls, first of all, do you physically go to Kilifi? Like, who will end up on a travel travel sana, or it's it's very virtual because COVID nineteen in my family to find it online. Actually, mm. that is where I stay. I'm I'm a student. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I am so jealous. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. It's, let me compose myself. Okay, tell me about environment two yake first, and and why sex education. Um, when when it comes now to Kilifi, mm -hmm. Kilifi as a county, uh, we have so many issues. We have issues on teenager pregnancy. Mm -hmm. We have also um, the rate of HIV and STI oh. is too high. Mm. Yeah, so as, as a group, we decided rather than just focusing on maybe environment and sanitation, conservation, something mm -hmm. of the sort, let us uh, focus on the girls. Mm -hmm. We want to empower them. Mm -hmm. Because we'll find that majority of the people in Kilifi, mm -hmm. those coming from interior, mm -hmm. they are boys. Mm -hmm. So matters dealing with the girls, they have been a bit left behind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that is why we decided to focus on the culture. Okay. Yeah. So is this like a mentorship program, like in Kalisha in class? So every other day you talk about, you know, the, the parts of the body, what they do, you know, what goes in where, what's not supposed to go in where, at what time, like what, walk me through it. Okay, it is um, part of mentorship, I can say so, mm -hmm. but we also do, um, we can also, sometimes we can do the pads drive. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we can also do the socio-economic empowerment, mm -hmm. whereby we can maybe assemble a group of young mothers because we'll find if a girl drops out at standard seven due to pregnancy, no she yeah. won't be able to go back to school, maybe because of the environment or one, two, three mm -hmm. things from the society. So we do the mentorship. We do uh, socioeconomic empowerment. Maybe we can teach her how to make soap. Mm -hmm. So just from her within, rather than just sitting there idle and you don't have any source of income and you have to get a diaper because you have already given birth. Mm. What if the person who impregnated you? Anaruka story. Anacheza kaye. So you have to be thick upstairs. <laughs> yeah, so that is why we decided to come up with such. And you see, uh, young girls, they are getting pregnant. They don't have information on the use of contraceptive. So we have to come up as a group then to now ambia the benefit of using contraceptives, mm -hmm. to now ambia this, because some of, some of the cases you'll find that um, mother and father broke up. Mm -hmm. So the girl decided to remain with the father. Mm -hmm. Wakati alikuwa na period for the first day, mm -hmm. 
hakuwa na jielewa mm -hmm. so she got maybe an idea from someone you need to have a sanitary tower mm -hmm. so approaching the father umwambie i need it's sanitary it is trick and then you get someone who can give you 50 bob mm -hmm. and then that is why now they get pregnant so we still have to mentor them on the use of sanitary towels hi takes deep breath but <coughs> my and it's hot to a deep breath. <laughs> okay, I don't want to put in my thoughts just yet. But kuna time, I don't know if it was last year, I'm a, the other one, that Kilifi liko in a trend because of so many teenage pregnancies. Like it was a lot. Ni vile tumekuja kujua tu juzi, ama it's been happening. Ama imekuwa wave, sasa juwa tu amekuwa kwa nyumba, schools have been closed, so many institutions have told their workers to go home. Is kila mtu, mwenafaa kuwa shule amengia hustle, you know. Mm -hmm. They're trying to put food on the table for you know, their siblings or their parents. So, Niyo ime encourage ama ni TV tu ndo imefika hapo mashinani ndo ikatuambia <laughs> this but these things have been happening. No, it has been there. Mm -hmm. But sasa venye corona outbreak. Mm -hmm. Ikaribu maneno because you could find most of the people going now to work. So many is a small hustle and lockdown curfew. Mm -hmm. So at those tourists who used to come along the beaches now hawakuji because of the lockdown. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine Sina shamba pa kulima because the weather there, oh, oh. it is too hot. Mm -hmm. So to even doing that farming, mm -hmm. it is a bit tricky. You have to be just smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll find mzazi ya mekapo, the kid hapo, both of them. And then sasa quarrel sasa to domestic violence. And mm -hmm. you see some mothers wako, um, wako like, they can't just struggle before corona tuseme waze they used to go to work mm -hmm. so kupata hiyo time ya in touch violence it mm -hmm. was a bit low as another breakdown of corona the dad is there the mom is there the kid is also there mm -hmm. and they are coming from totally low low background mm -hmm. so we can't manage to get you a pad mm -hmm. na tunataka kukula Mm -hmm. Moja lazima, oh, ika, yeah. and even if someone could have approached this girl mm -hmm. na wambia, we can make reusable sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now, mwenyange wafunza, like me, I know how to make. But now source of income, high kukua, because we have to sit in the house, mm -hmm. no working. And then, um, ata kama ni kutumia kiraka, we have also to know which type of raga we wish are we using to improvise the sanitary towels? We have no idea. So you find, like Mschana mm. Nasema Isuru, watch guy. Yeah. I need to get the easiest way of finding money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then mtuwa jamenta muambie, even if you go na u, u clean mahali, mm. or even you hawk food, una hawk njugu, mm. just to get your money. Mm -hmm. As a woman, it will be your strongest protection. Mm -hmm. Nobody is there to tell them. So you get most of them become victims. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you make a reusable sanitary towel? I also <laughs> don't know. Nikama diaper, as in nikama napkin ya kitambo ino alafu nanika. We have um, mm. certain types of material. We just don't pick any material. Teach me. <laughs> Teach us. Please, we are at your mercy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we have three types of reusable sanitary towels. Okay. We have the loose reusable sanitary towels. Mm -hmm. We have um, inbuilt and self-contained. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so it depends. I feel like writing notes. Continue. <laughs> yeah, so for, the, for loose... We normally advise for those people who maybe were traveling, the student people, they need to use those ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but kama when you lem se when you are at home, mm -hmm. we advise uh, inbuilt and self contained. Though for the inbuilt and self contained, they are a bit expensive. Mm -hmm. But now, so so see when you na toka machine and we don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, loose reusable sanitary towel, it's a bit cheap. Material are a bit cheap. Material gani ya? We have uh, different types of cotton. So we can use the linen. Mm -hmm. We have uh, normal cotton. We have the flannel cotton. Mm -hmm. And then we have we have to use plastic press button. What? Because if we use vacrolin, it uh -huh. kufua. Mm -hmm. Then after using them, duration is three to four mm -hmm. hours. hours. Mm -hmm. 
it depends with your flow. Mm -hmm. So after using them, we encourage you wash and then you dry them properly. Mm -hmm. Because if they don't again dry well, mm -hmm. you will get rashes. And maybe you can get vaginal yeast infection. Boy child, I know this is making you a bit uncomfortable, but you'll be fine, okay? Sometimes there are some things you need to know. We want to do demo problems are going on. Continue. Yeah. Uh, if you also don't air them properly, utanuka. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh, problem after problem. Okay. Uh -huh. So um, they are good. They last. Duration is three to four years. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. They last. So, wale watu wenye wanatoka mashinani. We even get the donors. We even, maybe we say the governments come to chip in. Mm -hmm. But you'll see, they will donate the sanitary towel. Mm -hmm. They will even look for people to do the advocacy mm -hmm. on girl child issue with menstrual hygiene. Mm -hmm. But they won't tell you how to use them. Mtu anakuja haya, shuleni tumekuja haya. Tunapea hii. Tunapanga foleni. Tunapewa sanitary tower. Tunapigwa picha haya. Tumeshika pads. But they don't tell us how do you use. Mm -hmm. What are the effects. Do you know there are some people when, you, when they use the disposable sanitary towels. Wakona itching in our effect. Oh, yeah. yeah, so it also depends na padie nyu natumia. We have e, the other one, mzito, ikona e, cotton. Ukivrute hivi. That one is not advisable. Mm -hmm. If you use and then you're not washing your vagina well, mm -hmm. iyo cotton ina toka ina, ina stick uku. So the moment you continue sitting, you, you don't rinse yourself well, maybe you mix yourself with the detail detergents, nini, nini, chemicals, they affect mm -hmm. ukuchini. Mm -hmm. So you will get, we have um, what we call the groin. Mm -hmm. Kwa groin we have um, uvimbe ndogo ndogo, small mm -hmm. balls, but they are very hard. Eh? Mm -hmm. So because of your poor hygiene, you get to like high it is too hard, like ningumu. So when you force to press it, kuna kitu inaruka kadogo kama Acid. <laughs> Can you see that she's telling the story? <laughs> it's, it's, it's affecting me, blood. I, I'm getting uh, mini dem, but nani affect. Don't have a piano story. Okay, continue. Yeah, so you you get to acid. Mm -hmm. Iki, iki ruka, like in a ruka, and then damu in a talk. And then this damu, uh, it is a combination of damu with the pass, not plain pass. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's uchungu plus bado kuna nuka. Yeah, uh -huh. and then um, itacha kitu kama shimo. So you'll find some people on their growing, even mature ladies. Mm. We have um, tukona vitu kama ball mm. because ali, ali, ali pambana kupress yu kitu na ali feel pain. Mm. Yeah, so still ilipona mm -hmm. ikajifunga but utapata hapo ni kama tu mountain to dogo to dogo oh, yeah hey. because of poor hygiene and remember it is not only one so every time you have menstruation you don't uh, take uh, proper hygiene that is what happens to you mm -hmm. yeah well, so it's it's very uh, it's very important hygiene is very important especially okay all yeah. the time yes but especially during your cycle yeah and then uh, mm -hmm. immediately you finish your cycle you need to tafta gillette. Mm -hmm. So you have to shave. Mm -hmm. To ensure as in uh, good circulation of air. Yeah. Also in a, any in a changia too safi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Do you teach boy child this? Yeah, we have to teach them. You see, it is a many situation. <laughs> yeah. So this means we That's begin funny. with men. Yeah. Huh? So <laughs> men. <laughs> involvement. <laughs> uh -huh. We have teachers. Mm -hmm. We have male teachers in high school. Mm -hmm. We have male teachers in uh, NGOs, maybe remand schools, and maybe we have girls there. Mm -hmm. So what happens if the ma the ladies who are teacher there, they are absent. Mm -hmm. The male have to come in. That is where you will see uh, nowadays. 
if the girl is in the period for the first time, mm -hmm. you'll find some male teachers. Mm -hmm. They chip in their pocket, they mm -hmm. get the pads, they give to the... Oh, yeah. Bila kuitisha kitu. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> so it's not a must. Not all men what I teach a kitu, but we have uh, mm -hmm. those pieces still. <laughs> Some fees. It's okay, God is watching you. It's yeah. Okay. So they will do that, but at the end of the day, they will want something in return. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you'll find um, so that is where you'll find some men right now, even in our um, in our group, in our Angaza Youth Initiative. Mm -hmm. Majority are men. Mm -hmm. And ma majority, uh, when we come together and do a pads drive, men what are still what are to book on behalf of girls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I so it is good to involve one. men. In mm. your, even in uh, when we go to do the advocacy in uh, primary school, we normally uh, like to involve boys so that we can understand how we are going to make a fuck. We are going to make a Okay, sijui kama ilikuwa kitambo sana but mimi when I was starting hata kwenda kwa kwa supermarket kuna noise ili kwa story like I I used to nina tuka kujificha haraka haraka ni kwa counter na siangalie mtu kwanza kukiwachalia I don't even want to see his face like I want to just to be over and done with but if if we are finally educating the boy child to, to know that this is normal mm -hmm. that okay yes some people do not experience their menses every month but usually it's that's the case yeah. so definitely that to me is vitu Definitely, eh, I definitely need some certain type of usafi during this time, mm -hmm. and and all the hormones involved. So you need to ringi, ringi ne. Atu Nairobi. You told me there's something based in Nairobi that you're working on now that includes the boy child and the girl child. Tell yeah, me a bit about that. Yeah, that that one actually is team name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So team name, we don't major on girls. Uh, it is type of a fun drive just within uh, we normally do I can say within Kenya because so far we have done in Kisumu the drive mm -hmm. that was feeding the street no <laughs> not really ah, you'll be modest <laughs> now mm -hmm. and then um, where else that was in Kisumu. Kisumu, mm -hmm. we went to a street mm -hmm. uh, just within the CBO, mm -hmm. CBD. And then uh, we also went to Kajulu village to feed the old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, currently we are going to Masai Mara. That is second in <laughs> So, Nenda Kutana and Ombi Campbell and Kinawazungu? Not really. Tani <laughs> Beba. Yeah, so we um, it is a kind of giving back to the, to the society. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, uh, we also do the disability stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so with the disability, because we normally say, for our human home to be complete, mm -hmm. we also need to include people living with the disability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, you know, all of us, we have disability. Yeah, it is only that. How you are when you nini? But even sleeping a lot, you don't like writing, you don't like reading. Unapenda kusoma the genius people. That is disability. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. So, right. uh -huh. like last year, last year we organized for a talent show mm -hmm. that was a Kilifi Disability Talent Show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where we we really wanted to crown Mr. and Miss Disability Kilifi County. But according to how we could have crowned the person, mm -hmm. it depends with how that person, huh, despite being disabled, mm -hmm. has done one, two, three to impact the lives of people in the society. Mm -hmm. But uh, because of A, B, C, mm -hmm. <laughs> I went that through. Mm -hmm. So we are still thinking on how to do this year bado mm -hmm. yeah because we still have time we normally celebrate our world disability day on um third mm -hmm. december so we can still do the same but currently we are working on how we, we uh, on 8th march we celebrate um international women's mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. yeah that's five days from now yeah five days from now mm -hmm. so we will be looking at those women mm -hmm. Mm -hmm maybe interior or just within Kilifi County, 
whether they come from town or interior, but just within Kilifi County, mm -hmm. who did a great impact mm -hmm. to the girls, if not even to the girls, to the people living with the disability during COVID se season, and we will be celebrating them. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Sisi Ukutuna Pendokusema abled differently. So I want to ask, is there a stigma? Yani, when you're anishi mashinani na wenye maybe ni tau tau kiasi, what are abled differently? But kuna stigmatization of sorts, like to say uko mashinani, instead of kusaidio ama being accepted for who you are, unambiwa wo ni uchawi, endo wombewe, stuinini, versus town, maybe even places ingin wenye wenye wanaenda there, they're sensitive, even the structures of the building kuna ramp as opposed to stairs, ama kitu kama yo. Do you think there's, it's fair in, in both worlds, ama to say dear aje kwe fair basi? Okay, like um, in Kenya, misi yoni, and let's do le, that person who is able differently, mm. na meomoka tu vizuri uh -huh. like, yeah. Uh -huh. So yu mwenye meomoka, uh -huh. I think that one is an, uh, in a good position. Mm -hmm. He can even express, he or she can even express herself or himself well. Mm -hmm. But uh, when we go to Mashinani areas, uh, you will find a mm mother, -hmm. um, a deaf kid, mm -hmm. a lot of things demoralize and heartbreak. Mm -hmm. But now when you come to town, it is another story. Mm -hmm. Maybe you are living a uh, life you know, You see some people, they come to town, but town, the so-called Nairobi hakuna job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they struggle, they struggle, but still, there's nothing. So you'll find an abeg mm -hmm. kwa street. Mm -hmm. Nyumbani, stigmatization. Mm -hmm. So me now, like, town, people who are able differently, they suffer. Mm -hmm. They just suffer well. But the worst thing is, like, there was a time, mm -hmm. that was actually last year, I was doing just some statistic on people living with the disability within uh, Nairobi town, mm -hmm. whereby I found 60% uh, of people mm -hmm. who, are dis who are able differently, like Wako town. And a half of them, mm -hmm. they are beggars. So these beggars, like they will sit there from morning while I lay up. Mm -hmm. And then a half now, the other 30, uh, they drop in the morning, evening till someone comes to pick them. Mm -hmm. But now I ask myself, if I can drop you there, why can't you, why should I not give you, like maybe ni kuempower, ni kufunze ata kama ni kutengeneza bidua. Mm. You do it by your self mm -hmm. yeah and then we'll get now 30 percent of these people mm -hmm. they're hustling mm -hmm. like utapata someone uh, ako on a wheelchair but anauza mask another one anauza njugu but that's the problem with the kenyans mm -hmm. <laughs> some of the kenyans mm -hmm. When they see a person who has any, uh, who is just the able different, mm. they don't want to promote. You and Akwanga and Afkiria Nini. Watch a tunic pay example. I'm eh. really glad you said that. Because Kuna time, a few years back, Nilikwa, Mamka, Mapema, Nkwatao, I don't know what I was doing. I was waiting for something. It had to be very early in the morning. Any Kabla, Ata Jami, Anze, you know. So ni meka hapo, ni mengoja, ni mengoja, suddenly ni kona mama mwingine hapo, kona crutches. Mm -hmm. Lakini hiyo mbio wa mekimbia. Na lafuka mfuka kwa kona flani, ndesu zaka akaanza sasa. So in my head, I, I, I was, I was, it was about to explode. I was like, now how will I know who is telling me the truth? Nani ya nanipima, nani ya enyewe needs help. Yeah. It's, it's very difficult in this year's streets to know what, what is going on and who is who. Mm -hmm. Kuna wengine, kuna kona flani, you need to acha nisitaje kuna kwa na fulani kuna madam yushinda amenini watoto mtoto wake hapo oh sijui anaomba msaada mm -hmm. alafu nilikuwa kwa match naongelesha driver fulani ameambia oh mama amekuwa hapo for the past 5 years yeah. lakini mtoto hajakuwa ikuwa mkubwa <laughs> so anajinda anaenda anaomba mtoi eh alafu ikuwe biashara yeah. you just don't know you know who's being sincere in, in this yeah. little town now mm -hmm. that is now the 10% mm -hmm. remaining mm -hmm. people are using uh, they are faking mm -hmm. yeah so lazima because me, when I was taking the statistic, almost one week. Mm -hmm. I just stand somewhere and then I'm like, as a boy, I'm going to go to the house. And you just keep quiet. Yeah, so, 
jana nilimkuta hapa mm -hmm. the next day ame locate she is mm -hmm. ako ako the other place ah, how then asubuhi walo kudropiwa kama alikuwa hapa next atakuwa where you are sitting wow. yeah mm -hmm. then kuna ule tu mwenye akiona watu wanapita shatan macho mm -hmm. you see now that the 10% poka una ishido sasa huyu tanda ya mimi kitoka huko sitamteni uko meka kando kando kidogo sigongo pia tande sinipa but i am a firm believer in tender mema no wende zako so yeah. if, if it's your heart is telling you to give or in your in your position if you are in a position to give where well, just give na wende tu si usijulize ati imeenda api wanaenda kufanya nini oh no just don't do it just give from the bottom of your heart and and others will be added unto you ama namna gani my friend hashtag when the morning all right Maybe in conclusion, what makes you do what you do? Bono kona iro. Okay. Um, for me, mm -hmm. like growing up, I had a vision. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a dream. Actually, I'm fighting. I want to <laughs> mm -hmm. to become a ambassador. Period. Mm -hmm. Is it period for ambassador or ambassador for period? <laughs> Let us just go with that one. Uh -huh. Yeah. So after becoming ambassador for periods, mm -hmm. then so, so I go machinani. You see, we do machinani. Oh, oh, men the interior penny like, like in coast. Mm. Interior, interior. Yani mtu wa meishi kwa nyumba ya makuti for 20 years na imeto boka imeto boka na since mvua ni rea kunyesha. Mm. Yani someone is 21 years old. She has four kids. Mm -hmm. Husband a fanyi kazi. Ali, he sold maybe a land. Mm. Ah, yeah. After selling the land, haka buy a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. So, alikuwa naendesha recklessly. Mm -hmm. After two years, motorcycle, he married because So, the husband is there. He wanted a mattress. Mm -hmm. And he just want to go. Uko machine, machine nani kabisa. Mm -hmm. and then, um, I do this... Uh, Reusable sanitary towels, tutorials, I teach them. I explore everything on menstrual. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then after that, I give them, uh, I don't actually give them money, mm -hmm. but I give them empowerment. You know, it is good when someone gives you an empowerment rather than a pesa. I can mm -hmm. teach you how to make the shaggy mats. And then from there, you can take it as a business. Mm -hmm. Yes, to sing on you to say a campaign to Nakimbia Kimbia. So now, yeah, so now, when I sabi wa ma ma. Anyway, you na piwa kitu maybe like a uh, hundred bob. Mm -hmm. You go buy soda mm -hmm. or maybe unga from there. What else? Mm -hmm. But if I can teach you how to make the shaggy mat, you can use it as a skill to earn a living because we just saw you are a dropout of form to class seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Mimi kuna ten wana documentary ya hii site ya Northeastern. Now before there was empowerment, before there were pad drives, before that. Yani mtu wakishika tu hivi na cycle, anaka kwa mchanga. Yani wanachimba shimo. Kwa shimo, ya. Na mekapo for the next three days, her song, I'm like, Lord. At most. Oh, sasa mtu sasa tuseme cycle yako ni wiki. Because you know our cycles are different, eh? Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then people like how we're born. Yes, and now I'm going. I'm quite sure it's going to change. We are so very proud of you. Thank you. Na ukiwa moka ukumboke. Kumboke uli kwa uku. Ushia moka. Iyo mwana ni kwa moka. Bado, bado, bado. How can we support you? How can we maybe give funds to the causes that you are part of? How can we, kama ni kujitolea tuende si wote, kama viewers na kama mimi, how can we help you? Okay, my name, like on Facebook, I'm Folic PSA. P H O L I C. No, I'm gonna swag me give it. Folic PSA. In a manner, shaky. It doesn't mean something. No, I'm a menstruating queen. By the way, if you can also check on that, you'll find me. Ah, it's a hidden meaning. Okay, okay. Yeah, menstru. Um, Twitter ni at menstruating queen. Mhm. Or mina Folic. Wow. Yeah. I, I thought she was kidding. She's not. She's actually an estate queen. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one wow. and I'm proud of myself. Oh, wow. Because that is now what makes me to be a woman. You're going to change lives. Yeah, I pray to, to God. <laughs> wow. Woo. 
Kama kwa na maswali zilete mbio mbio kabla jatoka studio juu tunenda kumwambia akai male VIP vizuri because she is a queen like she said and remember it's white five on Facebook white two five four channel on Twitter hashtag is one the morning next is our panel coming up and again we will be talking about polygamy and polyandry. Watuka kuniambia kwanza just one minute your thoughts about polygamy is where a man marries many wives of course umtani dilete hadi Solomon you will bring the Bible into this. But polyandry, which is not so common, is where a woman marries many husbands. And it might be a shock to you, but it's something that happens quite often somewhere. Uko Mashinani in the Orient, Uko Ma India, it's very common for a woman to have more than one husband or even marry brothers, all three. And of course, our daughter is a And of course, our daughter is a masaitan. But what do you think? I, for me, just from my uh, personal view, mm -hmm. I can't accept. Which one? The one to be married by, by <laughs> one man marrying many of you or, or you ma marrying many men? I am so waiting for this conversation, guys. So very much anticipating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so hit us up. Hashtag is white in the morning. Don't you go away.